Meghan and Harry will return to UK with their daughter to christen Lilibut. Prince Harry and Meghan should return to the UK to christen their baby Lilibut. Readers voted in our online poll on whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are based in California, should return to Britain to christen their daughter. Our poll comes after royal authors suggested holding the baptism in the UK could help repair Harry and Meghan's rift with the royal family. But a huge 95% of respondents to poll said the Sussexes should not return to Britain for Lilibet's christening. Just 4% said they should. Commenting on this website, one reader said, no. Let them stay in the USA. Another wrote, no, no, no. A third blasted, nope. Why bother after all the negativity they've thrown at the royal family in the UK? Another insisted, stay in the US please. Our poll comes after royal author Ian Lloyd suggested staging Lilibet's christening in the UK would be a diplomatic and nice way of building bridges with the royal family. Mr Lloyd also said such a move would allow the Queen to meet her latest great-grandchild. And the royal expert told Palace Confidential, one of the things we have to wait and see is where the little Lilibet is christened in this country given the Sussexes are of high-profile events. They might want to keep it a low-profile event with the Clooney's and Oprah in America. But if they do decide to come here and christen the baby then we'll have a photograph if we haven't seen the baby yet. It will be nice for the Queen to meet her, nice for it to be documented. And of course the baby would get to wear the royal christening robes. It would be a diplomatic and nice way of building bridges to have the whole family together to celebrate Lilibet's arrival. The tot is now settling into Harry and Meghan's mansion in Montecito with two-year-old Archie. However, there has been controversy over whether the Sussexes, who quit royal duties last year for a new life in America, asked the Queen about naming their baby Lilibet, which was the monarch's childhood family nickname. Meghan and Prince Harry have been urged to hold Lilibet's christening in the UK to allow the royal family to attend. Last Friday Meghan and Prince Harry welcomed the baby daughter. Named Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor after the Queen and the late Princess of Wales. The Duchess gave birth to the baby in Santa Barbara, California, and so it seems likely the couple will decide to christen the child in the US. However, a royal expert has urged the Sussexes to come back to the UK and host a christening with the rest of the royal family. Ian Lloyd said such a move would help repair bridges and give Harry's family a chance to spend time with the new addition. They might want to keep it a low-profile event with the Clooney's and Oprah in America. But if they do decide to come here and christen the baby then we'll have a photograph if we haven't seen the baby yet. It will be nice for the Queen to meet her, nice for it to be documented and of course the baby would get to wear the royal christening robes. It would be a diplomatic and nice way of building bridges to have the whole family together to celebrate Lilibet's arrival. But what do you think, should Meghan and Harry hold the christening in the UK? So far the couple have yet to release any details about a future churstening. Their first child, Archie, was christened just over a month after he was born. The couple decided on a private ceremony by the Archbishop of Canterbury. In front of close family and friends in the private chapel at Windsor Castle. And the royal couple opted to exclude the press and the public from the day and chose not to reveal the names of Archie's godparents. Instead of having press photographers, Fashion photographer Chris Allerton, who took their wedding photos captured this special moment. As Archie's christening was a private affair, Lilibet's is likely to follow suit. As a result, Meghan and Harry are unlikely to announce who the child's godparents are. Not announcing the names is a marked break from royal tradition, as royal parent usually publicly disclose their children's godparents. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announce the godparents of all three of their children. Providing a brief explanation behind the choice of her names, the statement also said. Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibut. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.